Hello everyone. So, for those who don't know, there are basically two series for gameplay that I wish to do for Armored Warfare. One is Shaking Afterwards, or Shaking in Your Boots. Which is basically where the game comes so very close to being a loss that you literally are shaking after it's done. So far, I'm kind of gonna. I've been the only one to be on it because I've only shown one replay of it. But if you guys have got another one, send it to me. However, the other one is what I like to call damn fine work. And today, on this very first episode of damn fine work, we have Monolo to show us what it means to have damn fine work. Now he's proxy lighting these guys in order to prevent his allies from getting shot up as they cross down there near the uh, refinery. And so he's peeking up here, just looking for targets. Spots the ERC for his friends. Now the problem with the BMD-2 is that, with like most all, all the BMDs, except the BMD-4, it doesn't come with smoke grenades. You just don't get them. Ooh, that poor ERC! Now that was an enemy smoke grenade going out. Because, uh, they're tired of getting shot at. And Monolo just casually takes a second, marks the bagel panzer for everyone, so even if he deploys smoke now, he'll get spotted. And you can clearly hear the rat tat tat of, the B of another BMD-2 cannon back here. Monolo, however, has the discipline to keep his gun silent until he has the opportunity to really shoot. And he doesn't actually hit anything. He hasn't done any damage yet. What he's doing, however, is damn fine work. At least up until that moment when that BMD decided to cross over in front of him. Now here's where things get interesting. He pins down the ERC. ERC pokes his head back out, he pins it back down. And now he casually pulls back. He's got nothing shooting at him, he's got nobody challenging him for this position. And it's a very casual shot where he just goes, okay, dead. Poor ERC. Now he's got a couple shots here, but he's debating what to do. And this is the moment where Monolo decides, screw it. I'm getting in here. Now the BMD series of tanks is not the fastest tanks in the world. By the way, for those who are wondering, he's firing he's been firing armor piercing ammunition. And he comes up behind this chieftain and just lays into him. Now he can't penetrate the chieftain's side very well, but he can penetrate that rear armor pretty damn well. He takes a hit. Not good. He's outmaneuvering the chieftain. But he does have other enemies shooting on him. And in the meantime, he's marked this chieftain to try to get everyone to focus their fire on him. And he just lights the guy to pieces. Now this M60A3... Uh-oh. Gets a nasty surprise! Critical hit! Ow! And that's how you crit hit an M60, by the way. You fire into those rear vents. And you will critical hit every single time. Every single time. And it will penetrate every single time. Now, however, he shot up. But he recognizes the threat going on behind him. And it's been damn fine work because he's been abusing the AFV marker system. That is to say, marking hit the targets for other people to engage them. He opens up into the side of the WZ, and that allows his Leopard 1A5 friend to finish the job. At this point, he is providing the spots for these guys. And you can tell what, by when you're providing the spots because an eye icon appears next to the thing you're spotting. However, this is the point in the match where Monolo gets a little timid. He was super brave to start with, but he's got no hit points left. He's got some big old holes in him. Look at that one down in the lower front right there. And, uh, yeah, he doesn't feel so spiffy anymore with 34 hit points left. He's lucky to be alive. 
But as you can see, people are rushing in one at a time and getting murdered by this Fox WZ combination. Because a Fox and a WZ can virtually take care of anything. So Monolo, being Monolo, is not as crazy stupid as we would have everyone to believe. Although, that trick no longer works, and that's going to cost him because it's not going to let him get over here to actually hurt this fox before it explodes. But what makes this damn fine work, Fiora? What did he do right? He moved to a superior spotting position to make sure he could outspot the enemy, and that any attempt to spot his allies would get them proxy lit. Then, when it was time to go in, he had no problem putting the pedal to the metal and going in. He led the charge that allowed them to swarm those main battle tanks and take them out. Let's go take a look at the stats from this match, and you be the judge if he did damn fine work or not. Now then. Let's take a look at some of Monolo's damn fine work. He did 3,200 damage, 2,800 spotting damage, spotted 8 enemies, got his gold star and his recon badge. But that doesn't tell the whole story here. He was really, really making sure he was using the marker of the AFV to maintain sight on enemies, particularly enemies like the Bagel Pants that have 3 smoke grenades. Well, guess what? You're not spotted and you're going to stay spotted. In addition to this, most of his damage, as many of you see, is from his auto cannon. He fired one missile that hit the target. And while yes, it was a nice alpha strike, he had to stop to do it and he took a significant punishment in the form of nearly dying in order to be able to output that damage. As you can see, he comes in first place on the team. Despite the LAV 300 doing more damage, he did the spotting. He made sure his allies could see their targets. Now I wish it would. He had the second picture where I could see the uh, the total assist damage breakdown between actual spotting and damage from marking vehicles, but I imagine that a lot of his marked damage is his own because if you notice the Bagel Panzer didn't really take a lot of damage while it was marked, and the Chieftain was mostly him, and the advantage to marking someone is that you do max damage every single hit. So that meant that his autocannon was only doing one damage number, the max end of its capability. But, that much said, damn fine work, Monolo. Damn fine work. So, let's go take a look at the previous Armored Warfare video, which is right here for you guys if you want to go check it out. If you'd like to see more stuff by me, Fiora, you can subscribe. There's a big, giant red button. I dare you to press it. If you want to do me a favor, can you take your little 30mm auto cannon and start pumping shells into the like button? Or if you didn't like the video, the dislike button's right next to it too, and you're perfectly privileged to be able to press it either or your choice! Lastly, leave comments, let me know what you think, and send me replays! I love them! Also, make sure you get me all four pictures, uh, or all five pictures the victory screen, the progression, the team, and the top and bottom of the last so I can see everything and we can show everyone everything you managed to accomplish in the meantime that's it for, t for today's Armored Warfare video folks I'll see you all next time and hopefully you guys will be sending me some really crazy stuff bye bye everyone just because I'm not in position I was waiting on the rest of my team to get up here I back up to let his expeditionary tank back and so I can go around his ass and get a shot off. And shot on the move. That one actually hit, by the way. You're going to see the Stingray appear with less hit points. Um, but he literally, oh, it, it only like gave me like a split second of, of information that I'd hit him. Now I'm sitting still over here looking for targets. I know I have a very good camouflage rating, but I don't have the best in the world. And I'm aware of this. I didn't realize the BMP-2 had also died. So I pull up here against these rocks and oh shit, I spot a Tarpon 2. And plant a heat shell into him and then throw out smoke. I get spotted again by the main battle tank though and that hurt.